Today, I am going to show you how to set up your very own Immortologist altar, just like this one. This kind of altar is unlike any other, its function is not to worship anybody, it's meant only for you, it serves as a reminder of your own mortality. This is the final setup, but let me show you the process from the very beginning. The first thing you need is some private space, for example a corner in your room, or anywhere else where you can find silence, peace and privacy. The Immortologist altar is normally built on a small dedicated table, or some kind of elevated area. I also cover my table with a white tablecloth, but that's not necessary if your table is white by default. The first thing to put on the table, is my book, titled, Immortology, which contains the whole written course material of the Rebirth Academy, my flagship online video course about spiritual enlightenment. This quasi-bible of immortology is not available for public purchase, but my students receive it for free. The book goes to the right, while to the left, you should put a skull, a classical representation of human mortality. Of course, it doesn't have to be a real one, but it should look real at least. The human skull has this undefinable magical attraction to it, and it's not surprising that classical authors, magicians and spiritualists have used it throughout the centuries. Let's see now, what goes to the center. First, a thick black candle, which you can optionally light during using your altar. The candle is black because it represents your body, while the wick inside it symbolizes your ego. The material parts of the candle represent your attachments to your body and your personality. When these are burnt away by the immaterial fire, by your Holy Spirit, by the light of your consciousness, spiritual enlightenment is the outcome. It's also a long-standing custom, to light a candle for the dead, and exactly this is the secondary symbol of the candle. But instead of lighting it for somebody else, this time you light it for yourself mourning the death of your future self. Instead of setting up a reminder for someone else, you remind yourself of your own inevitable end. The second prop we use at the center, is the symbol of immortality in some shape or form. For my own altar, I'm using my custom-made necklace that I'm normally wearing all the time. If you don't have something similar, you may use something as simple as a printout or a drawing. Alternatively, you can put a poster with the symbol behind the altar itself. Perhaps the two most important items on an immortologist altar, are the two special photos. The one that goes to the right, is a photo of your face, crossed in the corner with a black stripe signifying your death. Note that you shouldn't use my photo, and that this is my own personal altar. You should always put your own portrait on your own altar. The second photo that goes to the left behind the skull, is a picture of a tombstone with your full name written on it. You can easily find a photo online, edit it and print it out. Make sure to also include the year of your birth and then a question mark, instead of the year of your death. This will remind you of the uncertainty of time you have left. As you can clearly see now, the main purpose of this special altar, is to remind you of your mortality. It's not meant to be morbid, and if it seems morbid to you, it's only because you're still denying death. It's also not meant to invite death, to be happy about it, to
to look forward to it, or to wish it upon yourself. Its function is strictly to raise awareness, and to help you focus your attention on your spiritual path. There are two other items on my list that are optional, but can prove to be quite useful. The first is an additional memento mori, a vase with rotten flowers. Please make sure to use only already dead flowers, instead of cutting down a living plant. The second optional thing is an hourglass, symbolizing the passage of time in life. It's a good idea to actually use it while you are contemplating death, or doing the immortology prayer explained in another episode. My advice is to use your immortologist altar, every morning and every evening, and whenever you feel the need. With its help, you can create your very own memorial service, where you can reassess your priorities, make a life review, and attend your own mini-funeral. Ultimately, the goal is not to be sad about your death, but to celebrate your life right now. If you want to know more about death, from a spiritual but down-to-earth perspective, you should read my book, The Power of Death. Click on the link below, and get it now. I'm deadly serious. Memento Mori